Hi guys, welcome back to Karma Lately. In today's episode, we're going to be doing a half unboxing and a half sewing 101. Technically, I'm not unboxing since it's already out of the box and I've used it for almost two months now, but I am going to be showing you the different parts to this particular sewing machine and what they're for, what they do. So let's start with our sewing machine and what we have here is the Brother XR3340. I know that it was being sold in Costco. I haven't really researched the price since it was a gift. I'm not very curious about what was spent on it, but you can definitely research how much the Brother XR3340 will cost you. This is a computerized sewing and quilting sewing machine. It has a lot of amazing features. One thing is it does come with a DVD. So I don't know how many of you still have DVD players or if your laptops can take a DVD, but I do advise you to watch the DVD. It already comes with the presser foot. This is an actual presser foot and it comes with the J presser foot and the J presser foot is already here, I'm going to be showing you how to take, how to remove your presser foot, wind your bobbin, all that fun stuff. And I'm gonna make it as simple as possible because it is really easy. When I first got the sewing machine, I was like, oh my God, I gotta take a class. I don't know what I'm gonna do. And guess what? It ended up being extremely easy. I don't know if it's because of this machine and how computerized it is, or if in fact this process really is just simple, I'm gonna simplify it for you either way. So I have this cool little pouch that it came with, and some of the things that it came in here with are these little bobbins. They don't come with thread on them. You have to wind the thread yourself. I believe it came with like four of these, which is great because if you're working on different projects that need different colors, then you can have them already pre-wound. So this is a presser foot. I apologize that I don't know exactly what all the presser foots are for. I know that it comes with one for um, stitching hems and zippers, uh, I believe even buttons. You have to really read the manual. It comes in English and Spanish. And like I said, the DVD is very self-explanatory. But look at all these presser foots for all your different projects. Another thing, I thought that exchanging the presser foot was going to be like really complicated. And I was like, I stood with the J presser foot that it came with for a while. I'm not even sure what this is for. And I'm going to tell you about the letters. So each presser foot comes with a letter. Also, this key is handy tool for exchanging your needle. And also, if you get any fabric stuck under here, which I already did, you'll just use this and you can unscrew these nails here and it'll lift up and you can pull everything out. You can also take an opportunity there and clean the inside of your machine, dust it off. And speaking of dusting off, it comes with this really cool brush. I do tend to just mix a little bit of Castile soap with water and I um, and make sure that it's not sopping wet, just like damp. And I wipe it down first and then I wipe it down with fresh water, also damp, and then I do a, a dry towelette and wipe it all down. It comes with a whole bunch of needles. These little envelopes, this one's all messed up, but there are needles in here. This one is the double needle, which for those of you who know more than I do, know that there are a lot of really cool things you could do with the, the double needle. These thingamajiggers are what hold your threading in place. So these spool caps are all different sizes and that's going to help you when you're putting different size thread spools onto the spool pin. I'm going to use this small one. So I'll be using my smallest spool cap. And 
I'm going to put my spool on the spool pin. Now you want to always make sure that your thread is coming from underneath the spool instead of from over. So it should not be like this. It should actually be like this. It should be coming from underneath. And you're going to put your spool on the spool pin. Put your spool cap right here. And what I love about it is that it's nice and secure. And you just push it all the way in. We're going to wind our bobbin. So the first thing I like to do is put this here. This machine has all the steps right here for you. And as you can see, if you follow the machine from one all the way over to two, you see that you would be putting it through this guide first, then this guide, and go from the back of this, and then over around and what's great is that it's already there for you then I'm going to wind this around just a little bit and then right over here I don't know if you can see it I'm holding the camera sorry if it's a little shaky but right here that's your thread cutter and I'm going to pull it through there and pull and it cuts it right off. Slide this over and it's very secure so you do have to put a little muscle to slide this over and it's nice and secure. So now it's the top has been threaded and what we're going to do is actually thread we're gonna we're gonna thread this bobbin before we move forward with winding our bobbin I want us to get familiar with the machine and we are going to go through threading which is I know is the biggest fear for everyone it's actually getting the thread the right way and I think that this machine I don't I'm sure there are others but this machine has simplified it in an amazing way. So fear no more. So the first thing I'm going to do, um, there's a switch over here on the side. And that's your on and off switch. That's going to turn your machine on. And right away, we're, your attention is drawn here. So we're going to start from there. This is your operational area, um, your operational screen. Here you see J. And that's because 00. zero um, which is the stitching pattern that you see here and I'm gonna it's just like a very basic stitch that stitching pattern coincides with the J presser foot right here it indicates your width and your height and you can adjust them as your project needs for now we're just going to keep it where it is we have over here your tension dial. Like I said, I'm just learning about sewing. So this tension dial, I've seen a couple of tutorials online and they recommend for beginners to just keep it at four and that's exactly what I'm doing. I've had no problems. I've done quite a few different elaborate projects and I've had no problems with the tension being on four. Here is your speed switch. This is slow, this is medium this is fast and down here let me see if you can see that here is your start and stop button here's your reverse and um, reinforcement button and here is your needle position button I want you to know as much as you can about the machine before you go ahead and start winding and threading this right here is your hand wheel and it's going to help you to position your needle, which is why I don't use this needle position button. Um, you're going to see I'm moving 
the hand wheel towards me and as you can see it brings it down and brings it up and it's very important when you're sewing to bring the needle down here we have our presser foot lever and you're gonna this is something that you're gonna be using quite a lot and also your your hand wheel um, for some people they just feel more comfortable using all these buttons and that's totally fine you need to use whatever you feel comfortable with here is your presser foot lever and that's going to lift your presser up off of the fabric and then you would lift up your needle to also lift it up off the fabric and you would remove it and then cut it with the thread cutter that is on the other side and I'm about to show you that right now. There is a cool thread cutter right here. So you would pull the thread this way with one clean swoop it cuts it and the more you do it the faster you're going to be at cutting the thread off of the fabric and practice really does make perfect and my confidence level in the past two months has increased drastically and I cannot wait to see what's gonna happen in the next year of me exploring and experimenting I try to learn something new with the machine every week it also comes with a foot pedal it has an electric cord you connect it right along the side here I don't keep the pedal like this on the floor put it in this little uh, fabric bag and what that does is it eliminates dust and particles and dirt uh, accumulating onto the pedal when this gets dirty <clears throat> I can always put this in the laundry and wash it, but the pedal's protected. And that's just a quick little advice that I give to you guys. I like using the pedal. It gives me a lot of control, frees my hands. Okay, so now I want you to put all your attention on this. This is your main area that you're gonna be looking at for the most part of your sewing process. This is your needle plate and it has all these little guides here uh, for sewing straight seams. And so you have your quarter inch, five eighth inch, one inch. You have your guide here for if you want to stay consistent with different stitching patterns. This is a great guide for you. You have here, this is your bobbin cutter, uh, sorry, bobbin cover with this little lever right here. You just pull on it and your bobbin cover is released. And this is where you would place your bobbin once it has um, all of its threading and um, like I mentioned before this here is your presser foot lever and it raises and lowers the actual presser foot here you have your presser foot holder now there's a button back here when you press this button it releases, I don't know if you got, if you saw that, it just released the, um, the presser foot. This is your presser foot J. There's this little bar right here. And all you have to do is align it with this, with the presser foot holder. You want to make sure that you're aligning this bar under the presser foot holder. Then you're gonna bring the presser foot down. It's gotta be perfectly aligned. And there it is. Um, and that's how easy it is. This is your needle right here. It's also very easy to remove the needle from there this pattern and stitching guide I mean you can do so many really lovely lovely things you can take a look at some of these patterns it's really interesting and right here it indicates this is the operation that you'd be using for all of this so that's the operation that you should have highlighted here so if I'm gonna be using any of these stitches I'm gonna have this highlighted here. If I were to say press this one, 
You can find that one right here. There's a little compartment and this will show you all the stitching for this operation here. And so your machine should be on that one. And when you want to do the letters and numbers, punctuation, you would put it on A. And this would be so you can do all your punctuations and all these symbols. You can put that on the fabric as well and personalize it. That's that. So now we're going to go back to winding the bobbin. We're going to go back to our operation here. And you're going to either, if, you, if you're using the start and stop button and not the, the foot pedal or the foot controller, then uh, you'd be pressing this button to wind the bobbin. Since I'm using my foot pedal, I'm pressing down right now as we speak on the foot. And as you can see, the bobbin is now being wound up. What's cool is that it's going to stop when it feels that the machine has reached, you know, when it feels like it has enough. See, it stopped. I'm going to cut it down here. And now I'm going to slide this back. Like I said, it takes a little bit of muscle, which is nice. It makes you feel like it's nice and secure. And now it's all wound. I'm going to put this to the side and we're going to stay on the top so you can see what happens next. So I'm going to take this off of here. Once you're going to um, thread the needle at the bottom, you no longer need the thread to be on these guides. These guides are here for winding your bobbin. Um, but for the purpose of threading your needle, you're going to take, it should already be um, behind this guide and this guide, and then you're going to take the needle right down here, and then you're going to pull it up into this section here. Now, if you can see this right here, that's where you want your needle to go behind. So it's gonna it's gonna be caught right onto that hook. I hope you can see that. I don't know if you can see it. Mommy, do you need help? I do need help because I can't keep <laughs> All right, so you're going to take your thread down this entryway here, all the way down. And when you get to the bottom, you're going to lift it up into this second passageway here. Now you're going to see, you should keep your hand wheel towards you and you, you should be able to see that silver. That's the thread take up lever. And now the thread, I'm going to put it right over that take up lever. I'm going to see if you can see that. The thread now got caught onto that take up lever. Then we're going to bring it down. And the first thing you're going to do, there's a little section here. And I should be telling you the names of this, but you'll see them in the manual. There's this section here. Then there's this little hook, this upside down hook right here. Your machine should be off, by the way, when you're doing this, because this is a little dangerous. I forgot to mention that. Once I pull the lever down, it's going to grab the, it's going to hug the needle. And I'm going to bring the thread right here and let it get caught and then let it go and it'll it'll thread the, the the needle for me right on the back and then I can just pull it out 
And you'll need to do this a couple of times. I promise you, I did not get this on the first time. The DVD shows you how to do it really nicely. Then you want your thread to get caught in the presser foot. Just push it in through the middle and then to the back. And you are almost ready to sew. Now here, this bobbin cover, you're going to open this up like I showed you before. With the, the bobbin you already wound, you're going to put this bobbin in here. You want to make sure that the thread is coming from the left. You never put it um, with the thread coming from the right. Always the thread should be coming from the left. You drop it in here. Then when you to make sure that you put it in correctly, just pull it. And if it winds like that, then that means you're on the right path. And then just follow this little path with the thread. And there's a needle, there's a thread cutter right here. And so I like to hold the bobbin here, pull, and now my thread is cut. And now your machine is threaded on the top and the bottom and you can begin sewing. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.